exactly. How does this rock ended up here? She says it's a result of geological process. She says it's because of human activity. Actually, they're both right. But let's go back where it first started. It begins with a process called weathering. Weathering is the process by which rocks undergo physical or chemical breakdown. There are two types of weathering, physical and chemical weathering. Physical weathering involves disintegration of rocks into smaller fragments without altering their chemical composition. Let's explore three major types of physical weathering, abrasion, frost wedging, and thermal stress. Those smooth pebbles and rocks you find at beaches and rivers result from abrasion due to collisions of different rock particles over time, creating a smooth surface. Chemical weathering, on the other hand, involves the alteration of rock composition. It has three major types, namely oxidation, hydrolysis, and carbonation. For example, hydrolysis causes feldspar to turn into clay. Once rocks undergo weathering, the products are carried away by the process called erosion. So, what is erosion? Erosion is the transportation of weathered materials by natural agents such as water, wind, and ice. Aside from agents like water, wind, and ice, the influence of gravity causes mass wasting. Mass wasting refers to the movement of rocks and soil downslope due to the direct action of gravity. Weathery products can be deposited through a process called deposition. This occurs when the transporting agent such as water, wind, ice, or gravity loses its momentum and is unable to carry the sediments any further. After the position, what comes next? The next process will be sedimentation. This process occurs when those transported materials carried by erosion settle and accumulate in a new location. Ocean basins play a crucial role in the formation of sedimentary rocks through the process of sedimentation. The ocean is a vast repository for sediment, which is carried by currents and deposited on the seafloor. Over time, the sediment can accumulate and form sedimentary rocks such as shales, sandstones, and limestone. Remember Earthlings, as we conclude our exploration of Earth dynamic surface driven by exogenic processes, May your curiosity continue to unravel the mystery beneath the rocks, pebbles, and landscape, shaped by exogenic process.